Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. Welcome to another episode. I'm your co-host, Ellen, along with my co-host... Lee! I know. I'm playing it straight. I'm playing it straight today. Awesome. Awesome. Well, your mind might be in the right place. That's kind of cool. That's what we're going to talk about. Uh, A couple weeks ago, I was walking to a new coffee shop. Hadn't been there before. It takes me past the Buddhist temple. And outside of the Buddhist temple, they had a like a bulletin board of, of things going on. And there was a flyer that caught my eye. And it was for a seminar that we're going to run. And it was called, Where Is Your Mind? <laughs> There's so many things I could say about that. But it got me thinking about where my mind is during the day. And the, uh, what can happen if I stop myself on a, a regular basis and, and ask myself, where is my mind? You know, it's, it's sort of like asking, am I doing the right thing? Am I concentrating on the right thing at this time? Or am I getting distracted? Am I doing something that doesn't benefit my goals of the day? So stopping and asking yourself, where is my mind in regular intervals can really help with your efficiency and your productivity. Well, where sometimes your mind is, is where your body follows, meaning your yeah. mind isn't feeling like working out, then your body isn't going to do it either. And so yeah. I found that it, when you get your mind right, things mm-hmm. click into place. Um, you know, when you, have like me, when you go out and make a sales call or a marketing yeah. pitch, and your mind it remembers just last week you were a superstar and they loved you. I mean, you're in such a different place. Your, your words are better, your, your body, you hold yourself higher. So how do you get your mind into that space where you feel that confidence, you're, you, know, you know that you're the right fit for this and you're the best at what you do and all that? Um, it's not a physical thing. It's a mental thing. So sometimes yeah. when you have lots of money, I've talked about this before, but you, you act like you don't, you're poor. <laughs> you know what I mean? True. And, and so, you know, you said it to me uh, off air. You said, you know, if I go back and tell my younger self, you're thin. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. This is the time of your life. With the emphasis on this is. This is the time of your life. Whatever happened before and is going to happen later, this is the best. I know it doesn't sometimes seem like it, but um, we just have to think like that. Like, whatever. I'm, I'm not always looking forward to the the next big thing. And I'm not worrying about what happened yesterday or the day before. I'm just here. I'm just yeah. here with you, Alan. Just you and me. I appreciate that. But I, I, and I love that point of view because I, I was focusing, I focus on it on a more moment by moment thing you know, during the day. But I love that idea of where is my mindset? You know, like you said, if you think you're poor, even though you've got tons of money in the bank, you're poor. If you think you're not doing a great job at a sales call, you're not going to do a great job. So yeah, where is my mind? Do I think I can do this or have I already defeated myself in my mind? Love that point of view. And efficiency, you know, as it, to bring it back to that is, is sometimes it's, it's a physical thing. Like I can do this physically quicker. And we talked about slowing down to speed up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but being in the right mindset sometimes is all it takes to just be able to do things better, faster, and easier. Because the way you think about something, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to just, I'm, I know I can do this. I'm going to go. Instead of procrastinating, that's in your mm-hmm. mind. That's fear. That's oh, most definitely. You back. So when we get our mind right, we get our, a lot of our, our world right. And when we get our world right, it kind of, it's like a cycle. Then our yeah. mind's better. And so it all kind of flows together. Now, I grew up in a house where positivity was not a thing. It's ironic because I've kind of gone the other way. But I still hear the voices of my grandmother, who was agoraphobic, afraid of everything, would always, you know, discourage. You sure you want to be a writer? I'm like, yeah. I don't know. (laughs) You're not that good. Thanks, Grandma. Yeah. But you can overcome whatever, however you grew up, whatever happened to you, if you just focus on the now. Right now, mm-hmm. I know that 
uh, if I screw up, you're going to help me <laughs> get back from wherever I go crazy. <laughs> oh, crazy. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I mean, I just feel like when your mind is in the moment and your mind is doing the, and you know you're doing the best you can with whatever you're doing and you're all in, I mean, that's a great place to be and you're more efficient. Absolutely. Absolutely. I know a few episodes ago we talked about uh, me trying to figure some things out in mm. in a changing world. With the king and, bed? No, no, no. This is oh, way sorry. before that. <laughs> no, and, and I actually I had a long conversation with a friend of mine. And and she helped me see where I had some blind spots about the, the future and things that are going on and what I have. And it was all mindset. It was all mindset. So, you know, having her go, hey, but what about this? And what about this? It's like, oh, yeah. You know, getting my mind right. Asking myself, where is my mind? That helps so much, getting it all put together. So think about where you are. Where's your mind at during the day to get things done? And where's your mind doing the bigger things? Think about it. You don't even have to go to the Buddhist seminar. Think about where your mind is and be back with us again next week for another episode. 